watching Hexus TV and welcome to this, the first in a series of shows on how to silence your PC. But because I'm no PC expert, we brought in an expert. It's Paul from Quiet PC. How you doing, Paul? All right? Very well, thank you. Okay, um, now you've got a massive array of stuff here, which obviously I don't need to throw, be throwing all of this into my uh, PC to silence yep. it down, do I? But just give us a quick overview of what's going to be the noisiest parts of my PC. It depends. Every PC is different. Uh, right. some, some PCs, it could be the CPU cooler. Having a look here, these are all the CPU coolers that you know, you've brought in a selection yep. from the stuff you do. Just just explain what the difference is, say, between uh, this this Dalman here and, uh, oh, I would have to go and pick one with a difficult name, the Orochi? Orochi? Orochi. Orochi. Okay, what's, what's the difference between the two? I can see this is um, 10 heat pipes. Uh, and the Xamarin one doesn't seem to have that many heat pipes on it. What's the difference between the two? They do the same job? They do the same job. They're designed to uh, cool CPUs. Okay. Uh, but the main sort of difference is the size of them for a start. Right. Uh, this one has a massive surface area. Uh, and one of the key factors about a good CPU cooler is to have good surface area. Right, OK. Uh, Generally, the, the larger the surface area, the better it is at naturally dissipating heat. OK, so if it gets rid of the heat quicker... Could I run this one as a, as a passive cooler with no fan on top? All depends on what processor you're using. Right. You know, the vast majority, probably yes. I would have okay. thought so. All right, okay, but obviously depending on what you're doing with the processor. Yeah. So if yeah. I'm gaming heavily, some of that, I want to stick a fan on. You might just want a little one. bit of airflow in there or go for one, uh, an alternative one like okay. this. Okay, all right. So moving over to power supplies, because you said they were one of the noisier parts of the PC. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the difference between these. I mean, they all look the same. Uh, is there such a thing as a fanless power supply? Yeah, you can get fanless power supplies. They're a little bit thin on the ground now, uh, but we've decided to move over to what we call a semi-fanless power supply. Okay. And that basically means the fan will spin when the internal temperature reaches a certain threshold inside the power supply. Oh, a bit like a fridge. Comes on, cools down, turns off again. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. Simplified the whole thing. I am an expert now. I'm an expert. Okay, all right. Uh, on fridges. <laughs> yeah, expert on fridges. So, uh, just having a, having a little look around here, um, I presume these are Northbridge coolers. Northbridge coolers. A heat pipe uh, RAM cooler down there yep. as well. Um, and then, what are these things here? Because I was feeling this earlier. This, this weighs a tonne. So that's a hard drive enclosure? It, hard drive enclosures there, so if you've got uh, maybe a Raptor hard drive, because we all know how noisy those things can be, mm. you know, you, exactly. Well, this is VGA cooling. I think a lot of people go for these, don't they? Because yeah. a lot of, the, lot of the, the cards nowadays like need a lot of cooling, don't they? Yeah, the VGA cards, uh, you know, do generate quite a lot of heat nowadays as well. Uh, stock cooling is adequate, but not the best. Right. Uh, which is why That's a lot... very diplomatic of you. Adequate, <laughs> but not the best. Uh, but uh, this is why a lot of our suppliers bring out VGA coolers. Right. Uh, and not only do they cool better than stock coolers, but they also do it far, far quieter. Right, OK, so can you get fanless? Uh, you can, you can, Because I know some. you can buy them with yeah. the card already. But... Yeah. There's lots of yeah, to do yeah. That. You've, you've, you've got uh, a vast majority of manufacturers now who bring out graphics cards that are fanless, but there is a fanless uh, cooler that you can put on there. But oh, right, I see it there, yeah, there it is, there, that one there. Yeah, the one yeah. that's got fanless written on it. Yeah, the one that says fanless on it, yeah, that's a the bit one. of a giveaway, that. So, moving handily across the table here, um, we come to case fans. And this is something which I would have thought would have been the noisiest part, because like, I have, like, four or five case fans, and they're like, you know... Dep so. Depends how big your case fans are. Yeah, the smaller the case fan, the faster they need to spin to produce airflow. Right. The larger the case fan, the slower it needs to spin to produce the same airflow. Okay, so general rule of thumb is the bigger the fan, the slower it spins, the less noise there is. Exactly. Sweet. Rule of thumb. Okay, so let's have a, let's have a look. Now, you've got all sorts of like little odds and sods there. Mm -hmm. um, so, so can you just take us through sort of like just a few of them? What are these golf tee things down here? Well, they're actually anti-vibration fan mounts. What you do is you use them to mount your case fan to your sh chassis, uh, and it stops vibration from the case fan going onto your chassis. You just love my ignorance on this kind of thing, don't you? Absolutely. Okay, so just, just quickly run us through the other, other few bits and pieces. Okay. What, what are these boxes here? Fan controllers. Okay. Straightforward enough. Yeah. Uh, we've got a notebook uh, cooler here. Yeah. Uh, gaskets for case fans, thermal paste, Star, solid state hard drives and other bits and bobs. Uh, other bits and bobs and then a bit of sleeping mat as oh, well. And also acoustic material. Acoustic material as well, which I know I do know a little bit about, which we will cover in the next show. So, Paul, we're going to be taking some of this stuff and we're going to be putting this into a fairly noisy PC and we're going to see mm -hmm. what difference we can make to the noise. Is that right? Absolutely. Fantastic. And uh, he's not going to let me do too much because I normally blow the damn things up. So, uh, check back soon on Hexus TV for the second part in our series of How to Silence Your PC.